Alrighty, it is Christmas time, and what could be more fitting for the GIMP community than an update for GIMP 2.10? Yes sirree, we did get a update. Uh, this update, GIMP 2.10.30, is entirely bug fixes, almost no new features. So, most notably, on the operating side of things, Mac OS Big Sur and Over get a patch backported from GIMP 2.99.8 that helps fix the selection outline drawing bug. On Windows, we've got an API update so that everything doesn't break on Windows 11. Just a little small thing right there. On Linux and other operating systems that use free desktop portals, color picking on display was implemented with the free desktop API when available. Another thing is screenshot plugin now uses priority in the free desktop API rather than these any specific KDE or GNOME API. On the software side of things, in the actual program, support for several file formats were improved particularly AVIF, HEIF, PSD, DDS, RGBE, and PBM. Two in particular that stand out, PSD file support. Now you can load PSD files that have layer masks tagged with invalid dimensions. You can also load CMYK without alpha, CMYK without layers, merged images of 16-bit per channel RGBA with an opaque alpha channel, etc, etc, etc. In case of CMYK PSD files, for now GIMP will convert the CMYK to sRGB to allow you to view the contents of a file rather than display a message that the file is not supported that way it's not it's not a perfect solution but it's a lot better than nothing also AVIF export now favors the AOM encoder I'm not particularly sure what that is but some of you probably really like that now the metadata viewer and editor were improved. Something that should be noted here is that the text tool won't follow any more sub-pixel font rendering uh, settings or choices from your system just because it makes no sense to sub-pixel render fonts that are scaled all over the place due to your zoom setting in GIMP and whatnot. It just doesn't make sense, so they stopped doing that. On the GIMP development team side of things, Luca Baki is now core developer with Git Access. <laughs> Applause! I really hope I said his name right. Lucas Oberhuber, again, sorry if I said that wrong is our new macOS packager and is given the reporter access on the main source repository that allows him to work with organizing things in the bug tracker, labeling, closing, moving stuff around, etc, etc. Translations. GIMP is available with 82 translation. 14 of those translations were updated. Brazilian Portuguese, British English, Catalan, Croatian, Finnish, Italian, Latvian, Lithuanian, Polish, Portuguese, Slovenian, Spanish, Swedish, and Ukrainian. On the same day that this was released, so as of recording today, uh, GEGL had a new release as well, GEGL 0.4.34. So, basically they implemented CTX from the main Gaggle library, it's one of the runtime loadable operation bundles. A couple things have been improved in that regard, 
but most of that just flies over my head so and that is it for GIM 2.10.30 like I said this isn't much of a feature release but it is nice to see these little bugs getting fixed that are probably ruining some poor person's life um, but yeah that's it for GIM 2.10.30 and that is the last update of 2021 congratulations on the GIMP development team for working so hard this year and bouncing back through all this craziness that has been going around let's hope for many many more updates oh that's it